everyone it's Sue welcome back today I'm adding on to my using up your 12 inch papers series again and I'm doing this is number 27 in the series so grab yourself a 12 inch sheet and we're going to cut it down so I'm using this piece from 49 and market um, plum grove range so you don't have to have double sided double sided is good in the sense that you have color inside and out so I'm going to cut um, this sheet into nine and a half. So I'm keeping the 12 inch, 12 inch width and I'm gonna cut from the top because I wanna leave this strip on and I'm going to cut it at nine and a half inches. And with the strip on the end, it leaves three inches, okay? Right, so now you'll just need to grab um, so just grab your scoring board. If you don't have a scoring board, just use um, a ruler and a, um, the end of a pen that doesn't work, or if you've got a bone folder, use that. Um, okay, so from the right-hand side, or actually we'll go for the, the, the 12 inch side here, we're going to um, score that at two inches. So from the bottom of your piece, so we've got 12 inches by nine and a half. So flip it so you've got the bottom of your piece and we're gonna score that at two inches. Now we're going to flip it to the side and from the right, we're gonna come in and we're going to score it at four and a quarter. We'll score that at eight and you can't see that, read that, sorry, eight and five eighths. Okay, so we've got four and a quarter, eight and five eighths. And this will fold in like this. and then the bottom like that. So what we want to do though is we want to cut away this little square here on your left hand side so we're not needing that. So I'm going to just cut away if you can see the score line there. I'm just going to come in here on a, a slight V and cut to that point there. See that? And then I'm just going to cut this little piece away. Okay, so we have that. So then I wanna just cut a small V here just so that these pockets fold up like that on the inside. Just makes it all fold a lot nicer. this to the side for the moment we'll need that again in a minute um, so you have your pockets like that now you can cut this side as well if you want to it's not necessary because that just folds in like that so we've just got a little folder that folds in on itself so this can pop in a pocket in a journal um, once again you could use it as fill it with some bits and pieces and send it as happy mail so I'm just going to trim that down a little bit because there was a little bit of overhang okay now so this strip we're going to cut at seven and a half inches okay and then with your scoreboard if you just score along the branding strip here just trying to think which <laughs> which um 
which side is going to, to show when we actually glue this down, but I can just score it and fold the other way. So we're just scoring that, just so we have a flap, and we wanna do the same with this longer piece as well. So we have that folded up like that. Now this is going to act as a flap in here. So we just need to trim this down a little bit. Um, just need to measure that. So that's four and a half. So need to take about a quarter of an inch off this. just so it fits in there <clears throat> nicely. So we're just going to, so that's about four and a half about. So I'm gonna take that down to just below four and a quarter. And hopefully that will fit in there nicely, which it does. Okay. So that's that. And then this is the pocket, which will go on the outside. All right. Now I'm going to ink all of mine before I glue it all down. So we're pretty much using up a whole 12 inch piece um, because I'm gonna make some document closures with this little piece that's left over. So I'm just really going to burnish that quite well and grab my ink. You can sew this, but I'm not going to at this stage. Um, I don't think it really needs We'll do some decoration on it as well. Okay, and I'm just going to ink around the whole outside of these bits as well. So I'll do that um, and then I'll be back. All right, I've inked all around that. So I just want to recap with you though. So you've got your 12 inch sheet. Now we've cut it down to, we've kept it at 12 inches and we've cut it down to nine and a half inches, which left us a two and a half inch strip by 12. So that two and a half inch strip by 12, we cut down to seven and a half inches and two and a half inches. Now that actually needs to be cut down to this piece here, needs to be cut down to two and a quarter inch. Okay, um, we've scored on the branding strip. So just with the branding strip, it just gives us a little bit more, um, it, we've got flap and a bit more of a gusseted type pocket. Okay, so we've got that piece. We've got this little scrap left over, which we'll use for document closures. And then we've got this piece here. So this was nine and a half by 12. So we've scored four and a quarter, eight and five eighths. Okay, we've cut away this bottom left hand corner and then we've scored this at two, well, sorry, we scored this at two inches here and then cut away this bottom left hand corner. We've cut slight Vs into here and a slight V here. Now what we want to do, because this is going to act as a um, flap here to hold some bits and pieces in and I haven't inked that bit there, I can see that. It's the only bit I think that I missed, except for here as well. <laughs> okay, um, so what we want to do is we want to just cut a slight V on here again. And I'm going to go the other side just so that I can start from the edge. Hang on, I've just got to think about this. Yes. So I'm going to go in just slightly from the folded edge and I'm just going to go like that and tip it the other way. You can actually use that and put it on top so that it's symmetrical if you want to. I am just going to guesstimate which was really bad because you can see the angle on that compared to this. <laughs> That's okay we'll just fix that up a little bit. This is probably going to get skinnier and skinnier
that'll do I'm happy with that and then I'm just going to ink that edge okay so this is going to act as a, um, a flap in here so this is going to we're going to put some document closures here to hold everything down that we put in there so I just working out do I want to I can actually put the flap over onto the back which probably is what I'll do because it matches in with that paper um, because I just want to have that looking the same otherwise I could have done that glued the flap there and then had that but then I've got two different flaps hope that makes sense so I'm just going to glue that down onto the back of this middle piece here so you'll just have to determine whether you've got double-sided um, paper or how you want to glue that down so I'm just going to use my art glitter glue Just going to pop that on the back side there okay so we've got um, a little closure there and I'm just going to burnish it I didn't burnish it all really well just so that it all folds nicely so that's that piece okay now you could use this piece here as a pocket as well if you want to but I'm not going to I'm going to use this so that we use up all of the pieces um, rather than cutting to something else I'm going to use that for the document closure okay so then we have this little pocket here and I'm just going to glue just this edge here so you've got like a, a pocket tuck Okay, so that's that and that folds in there and then that folds over like that so what I'm going to do now is you can either put um, the pocket there and then the closure will actually hold everything in place or you can put it on the back I am going to put it here now, I did see this idea on um, Instagram and I'm just trying to think of I think it's um, B Valiant, I think her name is, B-E-A-V-A-L-I-N-T. Um, I will put the details down below. I just need to trim a little bit off that. Um, it's just a fraction too long. So I'm just actually, I'm gonna use the cutter. Might be a bit straighter than my eye, I think. So just a real little sliver. So you'll just have to have a look. Um, I don't know whether I've cut that wrong or or what I've done, but um, it's just a little bit, was a little bit too long and that's all I needed, just a little sliver to take off that so it fits there nicely. So I'm going to put it on the outside of this piece here, okay? And then just stick it down. need to do a little bit of inking where I cut that bit off so you've got a little pocket there you've got a pocket here we've got a piece here where we can put some tags and that in I'm going to do some document closures there and I'm actually going to do a document closure on here so that we can just wrap some thread around there so I'm just going to cut as many circles out of this as I can for the document closures and my punch that I normally use broke so I have to go a little bit smaller than what I normally do but that's okay I need to get a three-quarter of an inch uh, circle punch so um, I'm just going to cut so I'll only, this is quite thick cardstock so I'll only probably need two two together to make a um, document closure 
looks a bit small, doesn't it? Let me just have a look and see if I've got something that I can use. See, I only go from this one, which I think is half an inch to one inch, which I think is going to be too big. Um, what am I going to do? Let me just have a think about this. So I'm just going to stick with this smaller size. I think three quarters of an inch would be just so much better. So just in between these two. Um, but I'm going to just stick with this one for now. Okay. So I'm going to glue that one together. So that's going to be for the front. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Um, thinking I could do a tab there, but I don't think I've got enough of this paper. That's my dog barking in the background, I'm sorry. I thought I'll do a um, video where I talk because um, everyone's being quiet and then he decides he's gonna bark and carry on. So I think, and now mum's dog's gonna start. <laughs> it's always something. So I think I'm actually gonna put that on there with an eyelet, that looks better, and then just wrap um, some ribbon or something around. So I'm going to ink that. So I think I, think I like that. So I think I'm gonna glue that just basically in the middle. I'm gonna eyeball the middle. I'm not gonna worry about it being perfect. So just trying to get that. There. There we go. It's a little bit off, but that's okay. And I will put an eyelet in that. I'll just wait a little minute for the glue to dry. Now, we want to do um, just a little document closures for in here. So in here, um, same thing. I'm just going to do, just use the smaller ones for now. Really got to try and see if I can get a a bigger circle punch and then we've pretty much used every skerrick of your 12 inch sheet of paper don't you love that so that's another one down out of the stash <laughs> one down 50 million to go okay so just glue that together just for a bit of added strength And then I'm going to ink that as well. You could use brads if you wanted to. I'm just going to, just for the ease of, if I used brads, I'd have to put, well, you don't have to, but I always like to put something over top of the brads so you don't see that. So I'm just going to put these smaller eyelets in. It's just a little bit more seamless. Um, and I'm very bad at working out the center. So what I might do is actually put a pencil mark in the center of these around about the center so that I can see it. I don't think that's even right through my, um, the hole in my cropper dial. About there, I think. These little circles are so fiddly. And I also need to put a hole in each of these flaps. So I'm just going to eyeball that as well. I'm just going to pop it in there and we're going to just set that eyelet. So I could have probably put the hole a little bit further into the flap there. So hanging over a little bit, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to get some twine just to tie those. And I want to put a hole and a bigger um, eyelet into the, the tab here. I'll just use this mustard color baker's twine.
Need to make some room, I'm closing in on myself. Okay, so I just tie that off twice and then I trim that excess. And then I wrap that around so that that, that little tail there goes under, okay? And then we just crisscross it over to the top. I'm sure you all know how to do that. So you just gotta get it under there. Once you've wrapped it a few times, it'll come a lot easier. Okay, and I'll probably just leave it at that. Just cut my length that I, that I want. And then I always just tie a little knot in the end just so that it doesn't fray. Doesn't fray away. Okay, so that is closed and that'll keep whatever you put in there nice and safe. No, let's just, I mean, I haven't done anything made anything yet so and I probably won't make anything to go in these today but I just wanted to make this to give you an idea of what you could do so that just holds all that nicely in place okay and then we can pop some bits and pieces in here and that closes over and then we can pop more bits and pieces in here. That, and then we'll put an eyelet in there. So that's, that's the closure and we'll put, um, what will we put in there? So I've just grabbed some sari silk um, to see what I wanna put in there. I don't think I want the white got this really nice crochet one I'm not sure I want that either so maybe this one might be better it might fit better color wise so we'll go with that so I'm just going to um, just cut a length of that so it's got a bit of pink in it I don't think it'll matter and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold that in half and I'm just going to feed that through the eyelet. Maybe, might be too thick. Let's see. It's the thing with sari silk, you've got all different bits and pieces <laughs> that come off it. Actually, it's just not going to fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fit one thickness through. Thinking I could even just use that mustard. Um, Baker's twine that I used inside. Okay, so. I'm just going to tie that. Just there. Okay. And then this can go around a couple of times if you like, and then it can tie in a bow. in a bow or you can do your baker's twine whatever you like as I said you could add another pocket here if you wanted to um, I will probably decorate this and maybe put some washi tape or something over that um, and you can decorate the front I'm not going to decorate today I'm going to put it in a journal that I've got coming up so I'll decorate it uh, when I get to that. I thought I would decorate today, but I'm going to leave it because I'm not uh, ov overly happy with this. I know the colour goes okay, but I'm not sure that I want to keep that in there. So what I'll probably do is decorate and then I'll reassess the closure. But I'll just go through it again. So we've got all, all from one 12 inch sheet. 
Um, so we've got our opening here. As I said, you could put a pocket here if you wanted to. There's no reason why you can't. I'm not going to because you can see it's starting to bulk up a bit once you put things in there. Um, this would make an amazing little Happy Mail folder. So you've got your uh, flaps here that are just holding down your bits of ephemera inside. Close that, and then you've got a, just a little tuck pocket here where you can put all sorts in there as well. That closes, and then you've got your pocket, your side pocket here that you can put bits and pieces in there as well. So, such a great little project. Um, will look, look great in a journal or just sending as happy mail. So, I hope you enjoyed that one. Pretty easy. I hope my measurements and that weren't too confusing. I haven't done a video where I've actually spoken um, as I video, so I'm a little bit out of practice. <laughs> so um, let me know what you think. So that's number, I think, number 27 in our Using Up Your 12 Inch Paper series. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Um, I do hope you enjoyed that. And until next time, I hope you get a little bit of creative time in. Take care. Bye-bye.